though, is it, it's every time that I start to record, everyone just does their lawn, especially when I have the windows on. So I to close the windows, I have whatever. What's going on, guys? Mark here, aka Planet Crush Bash, back with Mad 16. We're on the gauntlet mode for the first time in I don't know how many weeks, months, maybe, I don't even know. We fell on the first attempt, as we should. Now we have to make a freaking third down conversion over here to actually get back to what we're doing. And goddamn, who the fuck is the quarterback? <laughs> who the hell is the quarterback? Why are we already failing? Oh my god. Okay, so back to where we were. Do we just gain a life for losing on the... What? Is this how people, like, start succeeding in the gauntlet? They just fail a million times until they actually, like, you know, get enough lives and start continuing to do right? I don't know. Extra life challenge. So, I don't remember what this is. Success on this rabble and you want extra life. Celebrate your free life by holding LT and A to celebrate. You know, only I could fuck this up by not celebrating, right? Let me just celebrate in the end zone. Chris Ivory getting in the end zone. Wow. Okay, so, also I want to use this video to talk about how the hell we are like... What are we, halfway into the NFL season now? Well, just a game over halfway into the NFL season. And we have two undefeated teams left, both at 9-0. and Both, one is in the NFC, the other one is in the AFC. I think you know where I'm going with this one. <laughs> you got the Carolina Panthers and the New England Patriots, who are 9-0. and Now, I'm just saying, I'm just going to get my little prediction for the rest of the season for both teams. Here's how I see it fit. Carolina, I could see going if they... The only tough games they have left on their schedule are against, you know, of course, the Atlanta Falcons, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and, yeah, even the New Orleans Saints, if you want to put it that way. Those are really their only toughest games against their division opponents. I just don't really see... Um, I, I mean, I don't see Carolina getting, you know, stopped by any of their, you know, non division like opponents i don't see that but then again you could say the same you know look at these past few games all right let me put it this way because i'm getting a little tongue-tied because i'm trying to get past this damn wave real quick this is why i should be doing post commentary on this but i digress here's the thing we've seen past games carolina play against the indianapolis colts the tennessee titans philadelphia eagles and so forth so on and so forth and we know the all three teams pretty much suck ass. They're, they're horrible. They're trash. Carolina has made it to where they will possibly lose to both teams because... Well, to those teams because, well, fuck it. They're, they're, they're the Panthers. They can do whatever the fuck they want and they'll make it a good game. They'll win, but they'll make it a good game. <laughs> Hence why they get the nickname the Cardiac Cats, especially during the Super Bowl year. And again, that's going to play into it. And we got the New England Patriots who are also 9-0. I mean, it's the Patriots. I, as much as I hate them, you have to respect them for what they've done because it's fucking the Patriots. You got Tom Brady, and you got Tom Brady, Gronkowski, Edelman, LaFell, Danny Amendola, for crying out loud. He could turn middle schoolers into possible fucking Hall of Famers. Who knows? Deion Lewis, who was out for the entire year. That sucks for the Patriots. I don't know who their running back is now. Is it still LeGarrette Blount? Yeah, it's LeGarrette Blount. What the hell am I talking about? They still got LeGarrette Blount, so I wouldn't say, you know... They're screwed in any way because LeGarrette Blunt can make plays no matter what. He's one of those running backs like, I'll say, Marshawn Lynch. He ain't a Marshawn Lynch, but he's just like Marshawn Lynch to where he can power through no matter what. So if they have to run the ball only in the red zone, that's okay for them because they could still score regardless of not having, I would say, red zone targets. But even though they do, look, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Either way, LeGarrette Blunt is one of those running backs that could still make plays regardless of his speed or whatever. Now, New England, my predictions for them for the rest of the season, they're just going to run away with the entire... They, 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 I honestly think they're going to go 16-0. I, I honestly think they're going to go 16-0. Or 15-1. The only team I could see them losing to are the New York Jets or the Buffalo Bills. Those are the only teams I could see them lose to just because of that team's... You know, those teams' defenses and all that. It's the only team I could freaking see beating the New England Patriots. So either 16 and 1, no, 16 and 0 or 15 and 1. That's it. Other than that, no. Carolina, I could see going again if they play their cards right, 16 and 0 or 15 or 14 and 2, I'll say. I think they could go 14 and 2. I'm hoping they go fucking, you know, wait, what the hell? Am I, wait, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I supposed to do? I Huh? Am I, wait, am I supposed to run through all three? What What the hell? Oh, okay. I don't know. 
I, I don't know what the hell that was. Excuse me for being, being a dumbass. I don't know what the hell that was. But, digressing again. So here we go. Yeah, Carolina again, 14-2, 15-1. Or me, honestly, you know what, fuck it, 16-1. I think, and this is where I think the Super Bowl is going to play in. I think both teams go into the Super Bowl undefeated. And one team's going to have to lose, but it's going to be the Super Bowl. It's going to be rematch of Super Bowl 38. Panthers, Patriots. But I see Carolina coming on top. Either way, if, hey, look, if we went to the Super Bowl and we lost, I ain't going to lie, going to be, of course, fucking salty. But I ain't going to be mad at the same time because my team proved what everyone thought they couldn't do. And that is have a fucking good year this year, even without Kelvin Benjamin and all these good targets with Ted Ginn, Jericho, Clutchery, Y2J, whatever the hell you want to call them, and fucking uh, Philly Brown, all them. It, I mean, look what we were able to do. And what the fuck am I doing? What the hell? What the fuck? I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I was... I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Throw back to the quarterback with the A button and score a TD on the play. Tip, make sure the quarterback finishes Rob before throwing to him. Who the fuck's the quarterback? Oh! Oh, it's a flea flicker. Why the hell is Fitzpatrick running the play? Oh, he's supposed to score a TD? How? Yo, how was I supposed to score a TD with Ryan Fitzpatrick? Wow. But let me finish up before we end the video. Let me finish up by saying this. So, yeah, Super Bowl, I'm saying, is going to be Patriots, Panthers. I feel as if both teams are going to go into it undefeated, respectively, you know, defeating each of their opponents. They all have tough schedules. There are games that they can lose. New England can lose to the Jets or the Bills. Hell, Carolina can lose to Atlanta. We haven't played them yet, and we've seen how those games can go. And they can lose to just about anybody. That's the whole thing. But Carolina has that keep pounding mantra that they just go in and just defeat everyone. That's it. So, like I said, those are my predictions, even though I was kind of rambling on a little bit. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. If you did, go and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, help support the channel. Go and hit that subscribe button. I'm Mar, a.k.a. Planet Crash Bash. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.